Hey guys, by now I think everybody knows uh, how big a fan I am of the South African knife makers. Um, that's Andre Thorburn and Andre Van Heerden. This happens to be a collaboration piece between those two. It's a they've they've created a uh, company that handles their their project uh, the knives they do in project together called A2 Knives. And this happens to be what they call the premium A3 flipper. So I'll show it to you real quick. I'll tell you about it. Uh, beautiful carbon fiber, low void carbon fiber scales. A zirconium S bolster. I'm going to turn the brightness up a little bit. It might blow out something, but uh, I'm just not picking up what I want. So that's a, a polished zirconium S bolster, and they polish zirconium uh, as well as anybody. Uh, the action on the knife is is beyond uh, perfect. Where do you go from there? Good question, but that's what these guys do. You can see it, you can hear it. Lock release is easy, there's no lock stick. Uh, this is a uh, Dama steel blade. Dama steel is a similar to a stainless Damascus. This knife also works so well, that well, because they use uh, multi-row IKBS bearings. Uh, it's a multi-row IKBS bearing system. I believe uh, one of the Andres told me there's 90 bearings operating this, uh, uh, this blade. Anyway, it works like uh, like nothing like nothing else you've handled. Well, let's put it another way: uh, nothing could work better. There's other knives that work uh, exceptionally well, also, but but nothing could be better than this one. Um, you couldn't fail if you wanted to. Uh, all right, so that's enough about the bearing and enough uh, uh, knife love for those South African knife makers. Um, hollow ground blade, uh, fit and finish is second to nobody. You can look at the tolerances, you can look at the, uh, the polish, you can look at everything. That's uh, a fingerprint. Um, it's, it's absolutely 100% perfect. Another interesting thing, hang on, I'll be right back. Uh, they've created a, uh, a case for their knives. Eight two knives and uh, uh, eat individually they use a, a case similar um, that that holds their knife. So this is an inset uh, or a cutout for the knife. It fits in the it fits in the inset and it holds the knife. Anyway, it's just uh, kind of goes a little farther towards defining uh, how much these guys care about their work and the quality and the perception and uh, everything else. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.